Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today you're going to be joining me for a 12 month review of none other than the Amex Blue Cash Preferred. It is the big brother of the Blue Cash every day. It has some industry leading categories. And without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to my dad's channel. If you're new here, make sure to click that like button and subscribe and don't forget to share. So first things first, one thing that attracted me to this card was when I was just getting into the credit card game. It was right after I got my Amex Platinum card and I saw that this card gave 6% cash back on you know, internet providers, cable providers, and the like. So I started looking after I cut the cord and realized that I had Google TV and Google TV was on the list. So I figured why not get 6% back on that? Then I also noticed the 6% back on groceries. So these are industry leading categories that really turned my head for the card, which also had a $95 annual fee as opposed to the card that I just got, which had a $695 annual fee. So I am not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but it just made good financial sense to me. Now with all other things considered, let's get into the signup bonus of this card. So last year, at the time when I signed up for the card, the signup bonus was a $300 statement credit payable in Amex reward dollars. So it's not really true cash back, it's a proprietary cash back mode for $3,000 worth of spend within six months, which I did hit, so my bill went down 300. In addition to that, as far as the sign up bonus was concerned, there was a 0% APR for 12 months. So you could actually carry a balance on this card for a whole year and not particularly pay any interest as long as you paid it off within the introductory period. And as the third sweetener, the first year's annual fee was actually waived. The first $95, I didn't have to pay that when I initially signed up for the card. So now 12 months later, here we are in the present and now that $95 comes due, which is not a problem because effectively that makes the annual fee for this card for two years at, puts it at $47.50 per year, which isn't bad, especially for a reputable card with industry leading categories from a reputable company like American Express. And here I'm going to take you into the multipliers. Like I said before, what turned my head was 6% at grocery stores. Although it's capped at $6,000 per year, 6% 6 is still 6%. You can actually maximize that spend and get $360 back and effectively pay the annual fee years ahead by just maximizing the groceries. In addition to that, it's actually 6% on streaming services. And like I said, I have YouTube TV, so I get 6% on that every month right back to me. In addition to other multipliers, you have 3% on gas and 3% on transit and 1% on everything else. So with all things considered, let's talk about the value that I have gotten from this card. So in total, with the $300 statement credit plus the reward dollars that I've earned through Amex, which total just over $250, actually $250, 50. That's a $550.50 value that I've earned from the card. So now if we take the $47.50 from that, that puts us at $503 for the first year of the card, which more than takes care of the next year. So what I can basically do is just slam this card in a sock drawer if I wanted to move the YouTube TV to the wife CSP and get three XUR points for that and really ride this out until next year. Because what you don't want to do with Amex, who is particularly picky about their rewards, their sign up bonuses, is that you don't want to take a first year waived card and then cancel it without paying them at least one annual fee. The reason being is because they will claw it back because they are under the impression that you did not operate in good faith. And Amex, like any other bank, like any other issuer, does not like to feel as though they've given you something for nothing. The only thing that they can countenance doing that is with zero APR deals because even if you swipe the card, at least they're making some money on the interchange fees. So now that I've covered basically the nuts and bolts of the card and what it has given to me, let's talk about some other things that are related to the card. Now there are still the credits, they have the Equinox, they have the um, $84, $84 Disney Plus bundle that you can get as long as you get $12.99 worth of you know, their streaming services per month, you get seven bucks off, which is great because that can mitigate the annual fee. But for me personally, in my personal situation, what I do in addition 
to having my gold card, which I like to earn MR points. I haven't maxed out the supermarket spend on this, but it is great for incidental trips to the supermarket, especially when I travel for work to, to ensure that I keep gaining cash back to hedge but then also my larger trips, I use my gold card for the Forex points because I can actually get more value from the Forex points. Also, as far as streaming providers go, and this is something that anybody can use, while YouTube is a streaming provider, so is Apple, as they provide Apple TV, Apple Music. This is also tied to this card to ensure I get 6% back from what they charge me for that every month. If you have other Google devices, the Google Play Store, they are a streaming provider. If you charge, if you have charges from them, those will actually trigger the 6% back as well. So please feel free to think outside of the box for your streaming providers because you never know where you can get be getting 6% back for. So there is a cursory list on the Amex website and that doesn't really even include everything, but it's definitely worth looking for to see if you can get 6% back on something that you may only be getting 1% back for, or God forbid, it's being tied to your debit card and no credit card at all. So now with this card, I would actually definitely suggest it to people. I think it's a great card and you can actually extract value from this as long as you're in the US because with their 2.7% foreign, foreign transaction fees, I wouldn't take this out of the US because you never want to pay for transaction fees because it's literally give me money. And I, I don't want to just give them money because that's leaving money on the table. And we all know how I feel about leaving money on the table. Give me that. But in addition to this being a solid card, it's a, it, at this point now, I am at the point where I have to pay the $95 annual fee. I'll probably keep paying for my streaming services, but in January of 2024, that leaves me at a crossroads where I can run a strategy that I call the KCD strategy. Keep, cancel, or downgrade. It said downgrade path is available depending on the card that I'm dealing with. So that will leave me with a choice next year and I'll decide what it is that I wanna do because in this case, there is a downgrade path and that would be the Blue Cash Everyday, which is actually a fantastic no annual fee card that earns the same Amex membership rewards dollars that I was referring to that is Amex's proprietary cash back. So if I decide to keep this card or maybe even if I cancel it and decide to try another one of Amex's credit card products, I have that flexibility as well, but you just got to keep it for one year. But I've already extracted so much value that I'm not going to be upside down from it. So it's all good as far as that's concerned. But there's really not much more to it. It's a pretty quick 12-month review, and I hope you stay to the end. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it influences you to maybe give the card a try. I'm going to include a link to the card if you want to give the card a try down in the description. So feel free to check that out because also it's the beginning of the year, so you shouldn't be applying for any cards without using anyone's link or referral. Now, by all means, do what is best for you, what is more advantageous. If you find something that's more lucrative, do that. But if you don't and you still want to give the card a try, by all means, please feel free to click the link in the bottom. But that is it. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Just wanted to give you that 12-month review of the Amex Blue Cash Preferred. So until next time, I'll see you later.